when people hear Daryl Stingley Jr., they say, hmm, I wonder if he's related to the Daryl Stingley guy. So that brings dad's name back up, which I'm proud of and I'm happy that it's coming back like that because of Derek. You know the pain it can bring too. Oh, I really do. But we're not running from it. We're running towards it. We're a football family. It's all that I know. It's all that my son knows. It's just in my blood. I didn't choose it, it didn't choose me. Like, it, it just happened. Like, that's just how it's meant to be. From the very first moment Derek Stingley Jr. arrived at hometown LSU as an early enrollee in December 2018, his talent was undeniable. I always like to just throw at the, the freshmen that are coming in and see if, what they're made of, see if they're tough. They get beat the right out of them again to see, see how they respond. That's the best true freshman I've ever seen. What do you think his legacy could be by the time he leaves here at the end of the year? Uh, one of the greatest players ever played on shoot, especially the best quarterback. Stingley worked out right now. He'll be a top 10 pick in the NFL draft. The Stingley name not only stretches across the back of his jersey, but also across three generations. His father, Derek Sr., played college in Arena League football. And it isn't unusual for older NFL fans to ask Derek Jr. about his grandfather, Daryl Stingley, a New England Patriots wide receiver in the 1970s. They usually say, like, oh, I remember watching him. Like, he was so, he was so good. Like, uh, he was amazing, very athletic. He was a star. August 12th, 1978. What does that date mean to you? I do remember my mom waking me up in the middle of the night saying, I have to go to Oakland, California. They're going to put it in the air. Oh, the intended receiver is Daryl Stingley. The man he ran into is Jack Tatum. And Stingley was down. The collision broke Stingley's neck in two places, severely damaged his spinal cord, and left him a quadriplegic. 26-year-old Stingley would never walk again. Now, I'm still seven years old. I don't understand the word paralyzed. And I walked over to the bed, and then I climbed up on his chest and said, Dad, get up. He didn't say anything. He actually turned away from me. For the first time, he felt the pain of not being able to move and get up for his baby boy. And he said he cried like a baby that night. It's tragic. He, he went up in the air, and um, at the last second, he tensed. I think it was a freak accident. In 2001, Derek Sr., known as Big Sting, had his own baby boy nicknamed Lil Sting. The son was a football natural. Derek was like two to three years old, and I would take him out front, and we would run routes. So I videoed it one time. And I sent the video to my dad. And he was like, I can't believe what I can't believe what I'm seeing. He said, this kid is gonna be great. So he's gonna be great. Have you ever had anybody come up to you, Derek, and just say, Man, you know what happened to your, your grandfather. Why do you wanna play football? Mm. I I've been asked that like once or twice, but I don't think about the injury that he had though like that wouldn't be good to think about while you're while you're out there playing because then you won't play to your best ability derek stingley jr was only five years old when his grandfather died on april 5th 2007. an autopsy attributed daryl stingley's death to medical factors related to his long-term paralysis he was 55. 
Remember the last conversation you had with him? Yep. We were talking about Derek, my son. At Dunham School in suburban Baton Rouge, football legend of Lil Sting continued to grow. But his ego didn't. That's because Big Sting was an assistant coach on the team. He wouldn't yell at me. He'd... I have a look. He, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a look. A, it's it, a... He has a look, and <laughs> when I say this, like anyone who's ever been coached by him or been around him, when they see this, they're gonna know exactly what this look is. It's a bad look. It's, it's, it's shape up, get it right, get it fixed right now. <laughs> Give me your best indication of it. <laughs> no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> the Stingleys are all about family. I'm just saying. And you got shoes on. I'm tall. Junior, a two-time All-American, stayed in Baton Rouge and LSU because of family. And in 2019, when he helped LSU win a national title, family was there too, including a keepsake from his grandfather's past. The jersey. No one knew I had it. And after the game, I pulled it out and I was like, this is your grandfather's jersey. I just wanted a piece of my dad to be involved in this moment in time. I've never seen that jersey before. For like a sense of my grandpa being there with me, with him, with all of us, I know he saw that all the talents and all the lessons been passed down from him to my dad to me. It was like, we're passing the torch. It's all you now, son. Go be great. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.